Here we're gonna look at a nice problem involving the digit sum. So let's recall what the digit sum is. So we want to define a function d from the natural numbers to the natural numbers, such that d of n is equal to the sum of the digits of n. So for example, d of 39 is 3 plus 9, which is 12. d of 412 is 4 plus 1 plus 2, which is 7. And our goal is to find d of d of d of 4,444 to the 4,444 power. And we're gonna use Euler's theorem, sometimes called Euler's generalization of Fermat's little theorem, to help us out here. But we're not gonna review it in complete detail. I've got a bunch of other videos where we use this tool. And in fact, I prove it in my number theory playlist. And so that says that if the GCD of A with N is one, in other words, they are relatively prime, a to the phi of n is congruent to one mod n, where phi of n is Euler's totient function, and that counts the number of numbers between one and n that are relatively prime to n. And the takeaway from Euler's theorem is that if you're working with a congruence, the exponents can be calculated mod phi of n, as long as the base is relatively prime to n. So let's first, instead of calculating anything to do with the digit sum, let's see if we can calculate what this is congruent to mod nine. And why mod nine? Well, that's because the digit sum of a number and the number are congruent mod nine. So let's maybe write that real quickly as a fact. That is, n is congruent to the digit sum of n modulo nine. And that's actually pretty easy to see, so we'll do a little sketch of a proof here. So I'll write it in terms of digits as a sub m, a sub m minus one, all the way down to a sub one, a sub zero. Now expanding this with powers of 10, we see that this is a sub m times 10 to the m, plus a sub m minus one times 10 to the m minus one, plus all the way down to a sub one times 10, plus a sub zero. And the important thing here is that all of these AIs are on the set zero to nine because they make up the digits base 10 of N. Now we'll reduce both sides of this modulo N and notice that if we reduce this side, we'll just rewrite it as N. And then if we reduce the right hand side, every power of 10 is congruent to one mod at nine. And that's pretty easy to see, but that makes this equal to A sub M plus A sub M minus one, all the way down to A sub one plus A sub zero, but that's exactly D sub N modulo nine, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So now that we've got our motivation for why we should look at this mod nine in the first place, let's go ahead and calculate 4444 four, four, four to the 4444 four, 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 mod nine. And if we know what that is mod nine, then we know what the applications of these digit sums to that number is mod nine. So first off, I want to notice that phi of nine, well, like I said, that's the number of numbers between one and nine that are relatively prime to nine. So in this case, we get one, two, three is not in there, but four and five are in there. Six is not in there because they have a GCD of three, but seven and eight are in there. So notice we get six total numbers. So that means phi of nine is equal to six. Now we're going to perform division with remainder of four, 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 with nine as the divisor and phi of nine or six as the divisor, and then use Euler's theorem to reduce this modulo nine. So I'll just write that calculation down. We have four, 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 four is equal to nine times four, nine, three plus seven. And then four, 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 four is equal to six times 740 plus four. But now let's recall that that is equivalent to saying that 4444 four, four is congruent to seven mod nine, and that 4444 four, four is congruent to four mod phi of nine, which in this case is six. But using Euler's theorem, along with just general properties of congruences, we have 4444 four, four, four to the 4444 four, four, four must be congruent to seven to the four mod nine. So notice we've reduced our base modulo nine, and we've reduced our exponent modulo six. But notice that that is gonna be congruent to 49 squared mod nine, because seven to the fourth is just seven squared squared. But now we can take 49, but now we can take 49. Notice that 49 is four mod nine, which makes 49 squared 16 mod nine, but 16 is just seven mod nine. So we've got 4444 four, four, four to the 4444 four, four, four is congruent to seven mod nine. But then using our fact up here, we have that D of D of D of 4444 four, 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 to the 4444 four, 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 four is also congruent to seven mod nine. Okay, let's get rid of both of this calculation and move on to the next step. On the last one, we determined that D applied to D applied to D applied to my number was congruent to seven mod nine. Now we're gonna use another trick involving logarithms to get some bound on the size of our goal number. So let's take a look at this fact kind of in parallel to what we have on the board, and that is D of N is less than or equal to nine times the number of digits of N. So that's pretty clear because if you have nine, 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 as many times the number of digits of n, then you want to maximize this d of n. Now we're going to write this number of digits of n in some sort of calculable form, and the way we can do that is using the log of base 10 and the floor function. So this is going to be equal to one plus the floor of the log of base 10 of our number n. So now we can start applying this to our number four, 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 from the inside to the outside. So let's start from the inside. So d of four, 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 four. Maybe let's call this something from the form of a little similar. We'll call this capital N. So that's going to be less than or equal to nine times one plus the floor of four, 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 four
And again, it's using some water removal calculations. Okay. But now we see pretty clearly that this object right here will be equal to four 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 times four. So now let's make that calculation. See what we get. So adding one two and multiplying by nine, we see we'll get one five nine three. So the d of the capital N is less than equal to one hundred fifty five thousand nine hundred three. So we're going to multiply by nine. We're going to have the d of this object. So the d of the object is less than equal to nine times the number of digits here. So I'm going to multiply by nine. We're going to have the d of the object. We have the d of the n is less than equal to nine times the number of digits here. And next one is that d of one n achieves its maximum on the set one two fifty four at one point nine, and that d of one nine is equal to fifteen. So what do we have? Well, let me just multiply d to any number one two three four four fifty four, and the largest thirteen. Okay. So what else? Apply to this rule up here. Is that d of the of the of n must be less than equal to fifteen? Okay. Now we have a working meter to solve the problem. We have d of the 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 of